build the Rush 24 version 2.0 tactical backpack be the pack that I've been searching for? Well, maintain your focus because we are about to find out. The Rush 24 2.0 came out recently and I couldn't help to wonder what this backpack was all about because again, 511 is a familiar brand to me. It's a very good brand and uh, I, I just couldn't help to wonder what this pack has to offer. Now, I should note in the very upfront beginning that this backpack is not like the other tactical backpacks. In fact, it is on the higher end of tactical backpacks and uh, essentially is you get what you pay for. So this is not something on your budget friendly style of backpacks, but though then again, depending on your needs, I personally believe that if you're gonna invest on something that you want to last and to provide you with the quality and durability, then I think maybe it's worth upping it up a little bit on cost. So let's just go ahead and dive in and talk a little bit more about what this backpack has to offer and potential pros and cons. All right, so the Rush 24 2.0 backpack is 37 liters. Uh, it comes in dark green or ranger green as they call it, black, double tap, which I think is kind of like a gray and black. Then they have kangaroo, which is your khaki slash tan. And then finally they have dark navy. So the fabric of this backpack is 1000D nylon. Uh, so it's pretty strong, it's durable. I've tested it with some water resist, uh, some water on the surface and it repels very well in addition to uh, protecting any water from entering the backpack. The zippers are YKK and open fairly easy. In the rear of the pack, the shoulder pads are very uh, padded in addition to it providing you with the area to put your own waist belt system. Before I jump into the top two pockets, I do wanna make note of two things of the actual fabric. The molly webbing is fairly decent, it's strong. I would say it's very good. Uh, however, there is a potential con here depending on the pouches you use or brands that you use to attach some gear on here, including the 10 by six molly webbing a pouch that 511 sells. See, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loops. However, functional loops, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six six here whereas that pouch that i mentioned either has seven or eight i can't recall but i believe the the reason why i didn't get it is because it wouldn't fit equally onto these it will it will not align so that's a potential con if you do own that pouch or any pouches like that. all right guys so there you have it the rush 24 2.0 tactical backpack today i want to talk to you about this multi-tool that i picked up that's actually contained in a tactical pen that's made by the Atomic Bear. I'm usually not a fan of uh, just gadgets for the sake of gadgets, but uh, the reason why I did like this one and gravitate towards it is the fact that it is made out of aircraft grade aluminum, which is what I look for in a tactical pen. It has a tungsten tip, so uh, we could refer to that as a glass breaker or a skull crusher. And it also fits very good in the hand when deployed uh, in a reverse grip position. So once it passed that test and said, okay, that's good to go, and it actually contains some extras, all right, let's take a look and uh, go a little further. So let me go ahead and share the uh, other applications that are contained in this multi-tool. So one important thing about a tactical pen, let's say, is the way that it writes. Well, this one is a screw top, so it unscrews, revealing a uh, ballpoint pen that actually writes very well. So that's uh, definitely good to go. We mentioned previously the tungsten tip and uh, the glass breaker or the business end, especially if you are uh, utilizing this with uh, self-defense in mind. And this tungsten tip actually unscrews, revealing another multi-tool here that contains a flathead screwdriver, a scraper that's excellent for ferro rods, a hex key, and a bottle opener. When agility matters, the 8-inch Alpha Fury is high performance, lightweight, and airport friendly. Built with the comfort and flexibility of an athletic shoe, combined with the stability, reliability, and functionality of an all-day, hard-working tactical boot. 
The non-slip rubber outsole meets the ASTM standards for slip resistance and abrasion resistance, while our compression molded EVA midsole meets a shore C value of 55 for the perfect balance between comfort and durability. As you expect from the Alpha Series, the thermoplastic heel counter and toe box are custom molded during manufacturing to eliminate the break-in period, while the insoles use blown dual density PU which provides multi-layer comfort and support while reducing compression set from use. The upper material uses 100% polyester mesh to provide excellent abrasion resistance and tear strength, while also remaining breathable to keep your feet comfortable and cool. The U-Fit lacing system allows for a more personalized and secure fit and, as you know, the gusseted tongue prevents debris from entering the boot. This boot features a side zipper for easy on and off and is available at regular and wide widths from sizes 4 to 16. Now available with a full grain polishable toe to meet all your uniform needs and comes in a waterproof version. With nylon hardware and shank, the Alpha Furies will allow for a complete airport friendly experience. This is the Real Avid Gun Tool Max. First and foremost, this is a big boy. This thing is girthy, which makes it kind of awkward to use, um, but if you're using the hammer on it, then it does come in handy because you have some substance behind it. The screwdriver attachment is the main reason that I got this. It's super easy to use. You just hit this switch right here and you can open up to a 90 or you can hold it open to a full 180. I almost forgot my geometry for a second. 180 degrees. Now. The screwdriver bits, they're held in with a magnet. Initially, I was worried that the magnet wasn't strong enough. And on this, these smaller attachments, if you put it in there, it might fall out. But when you have the bigger end attached to the magnet, I could all day long and it's not coming out. So it's great, but if you want to use anything other than what bit you have in there, then you have to carry this pouch with you wherever you go because it has the rest of the bits. Now, as for the knife, it's basically as sharp as when I first got it. Here we have a female adapter and a male adapter. It comes with a pin punch and a cleaning hook with the gun kit, but you can unscrew these and you can attach your gun cleaning tools to it if you really wanted to. Um, but it's a great option there if you need it and I use this for various things that it's not meant for and it's, it's great. Right next to our pin punch, we have our windage and elevation screwdriver and attached to it, we also have a bunch of different um, bolt sizes. So you have a nice little wrench. Um, I've actually used that as well at work to fix a ballistic door. So that was fun. And then right next to the pin punch and your windage and elevation screwdriver, we got this guy and I've never used it for anything, but it's got a bottle opener and that's a necessity. So that's just what your bottle opener is on. And last but not least, if we open this up, we have, I will say this is one area where the bulkiness of these pliers really comes in handy because you're able to get a nice solid hold on whatever it is that you're grasping, that you're plying, pliering, but you're able to get a really good hold on whatever it is that you're trying to hold with the pliers and get some leverage on it. The 511 TAC AK2 glove is the superior tactical glove. The flash and slash protection reduces the chance of injury during hard charging operations. Our patented tactical touch precision fingertip design provides exceptional dexterity and tactility when shooting. This glove has been reinforced with knuckle protection and a padded palm. The back panel is made from Kevlar to help protect your hands from on-the-job hazards. The goat skin leather palm and knuckle and finger joint reinforcements provide enhanced grip and durability. The TAC AK-2 comes with a closed gusset to keep out debris. There's also an adjustable hook and loop wrist closure with leather strap tabs to ensure a snug fit. This is the 511 TAC AK-2 glove.